Hey guys, this is all stream that welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another episode of WWE 2K23 showcase mode. And today we are going to be playing as Brock Lesnar at SummerSlam 2014 and it's called Suplex Rinse Repeat. Brock Lesnar looks for maximum pain in a minimal amount of time. At SummerSlam 2014, that meant the inaugural trip to Suplex City, all John Cena could do was buckle up and try to enjoy the ride. What makes Brock Lesnar unique? Uh, the most intimidating first impression of any human being ever. <laughs> this guy's a bad dude. Mix that in with the athletic ability, the agility of a gymnast, He's built like a bank vault, and he has the power of a diesel truck. Brock is the one guy who will just take what he wants. Brock walked on to pro football after not having played a down in high school and made the team. And they made the team and they wanted to ship to Europe. He's like, nope, I'm going to the MMA. And then went into mixed martial arts and dominates. And then he comes back to WWE. What was the conversation like among WWE superstars? Do we have enough underwear? Because I'm gonna need a change of shorts. Man, you don't wanna be across the ring from that dude with that look in his eye. That's, you, you don't wanna be there. It, nothing you can do. You need luck. You need luck, you need timing, you need moons to line up to be able to get, to get one over on him. Because Brock functioning as Brock is unstoppable. In the arena, he's unstoppable. Settle in. It's for the WWE World Heavyweight Championship. Cena, Lesnar, the biggest fight of the summer. Fine. Brock Lesnar kicked my ass at SummerSlam in 2014. There's no hiding from it. But, you know, I still managed to walk away with my head held high. Because that match, more than any other match in my entire career, that is the night I think I proved that I would never ever give up. I fought Brock with everything I had until there was simply nothing left. They say that when they're talking about the heart somebody showed, well, that means they got their butt kicked. Okay. Still showed a lot of heart. Never give up. And here we are. A heavy combo. Okay, um... There it is. Okay, come on. He is a beast. I can... I can feel it. Okay. There we go. It's going for the F5 and got it. And a two count early on in the match. Big smile from Brock. He knows he's got his number. Paul knows he's got his number. Yep, Paul knows. Yep. Like you said, that was your chance. He probably will. Yeah. 
yeah, and there's the chance. Let's go, Cena. Cena sucks. And there we go. And we're back into the gameplay after that German suplex. Okay, so the German suplex. Uh... Okay, I can do that. There's one. Two. Ooh. Ouch. Wow. There we go. Wow. Here we go. Come on, I want to get him the rest of the way back up. There we go. And we're just gonna take everything we can here. And there we go. Okay, um... There we go. Rear heavy grapple. There it is. We are in a cutscene and we're live. We go a forearm and another forearm. And oh, caught him. Almost an F5. Into an attitude adjustment and a pin. For two. That took a lot out of Cena. It took a lot out of Brock too. Ref checking both. And everybody. Everybody. Seems to be okay. Just out of breath. Going back to uh, take a look at Brock. I want him to have the showcase next year. That would be great for Brock Lesnar to have the showcase. And Brock's up. He's smiling. He's laughing. Paul's laughing.
Lesnar knows what he's doing. He knows he's got this match. Seven more. That didn't work out. There we go. And is I'm kind of wondering, um, you know what, that's easy enough, um, yeah, standing front, so yeah. Oh! I guess we're just going to do it this way. Because he won't let me do the actual suplex city. And one more. Okay. Wow, he caught me. Wow, come on. Come on. There we go. And there's a trip into an STF. He actually has that one locked in pretty good. A lot better than what he normally does. That actually looks good. That actually looks like he's got it locked in. And uh, Lesnar, of course, will not tap. That's Paul Heyman banging on the ring. There we go. He rolls over. Couple of punches. 
Dragging him to the middle of the ring. And we're going to go for a pin. Two count. And do it again. There we go. And Brock wins. And yep. And he was holding both belts at the time. Okay. So that is a win for Lesnar. And we got a new Paul Heyman, a new Brock Lesnar, a new John Cena. We got the uh, the big gold belt from WCW. We got the or the WWE Championship, and we got the SummerSlam 2014 Arena. And in the next one, we are going to be playing as Brock Lesnar again. This time, about uh, eleven years prior. And that is at Backlash. And that was Brock Lesnar's first championship reign beginning against the Doctor of Thugonomics. So I'm assuming that we will be getting the uh, Doctor of Thugonomics gear for uh, John Cena. We'll be getting Brock Lesnar. We will be getting Backlash and probably the championship belt that uh, Cena was holding that Brock took. Uh, but that's going to be the next episode. I want to thank everybody for watching. My name is Allstream. That hit the like button if you like this type of content. It lets me know that you like this particular type of content and would like to see more. Hit the subscribe button and ring the bell for notifications to be notified every time I post a video. And follow me on Twitter, Twitch, and Discord. The links will be in the description below. Have a wonderful day.